2009. Possible daylight sighting of a juvenile Sasquatch on all fours by a deer hunter near Axon Year, 2007. Season, Fall. Month, November. State, Georgia. County, Atkinson County. Nearest town, Axon. Nearest road, Axon Road in Smut Hammock Road. Observed, I was in South Georgia at a hunting camp I had just joined that year. I was leaving the campsite and driving through what the planted pines maintain dirt roads to go to my stand. Directly behind camp is approx 30, 50 acres that no one is allowed to hunt for safety purposes. There is also a small pond in this area. Driving about 1-4 mile from camp, I looked to my left in the pines and noticed something black. I was approaching an intersection, so I slowed to see what would emerge from the woods. To my surprise, a black animal came out of the woods on all fours, angled 45 degrees away from me. I tried to convince myself I was seeing a bear, or possibly a cow that got loose. However, as I watched from 50 feet I noticed the complete absence of a tail. I watched the animal in the open road, in broad daylight for 10 seconds. It came directly out of the woods, and ran down the road then crossed into the opposing woods and disappeared. I could see that the rear legs appeared longer than the front, and the head was closer to the ground. Also, as it ran on all fours the animal loped, with the slope of the back changing rather than remaining level. As if the front was bouncing. Further, the legs and rear were much too thin to be that of a bear. Though I did not see the face, from the limited sight of the head, there were no clearly visible ears. A bear's ears would be clearly visible. I immediately thought of Sasquatch, however I was seeing an animal running on all fours, I have just seen the Jacobs photo, and that is the best way I can describe what I saw in South Georgia. Also noticed, unusual gait of animal, no tail, no ears. Other witnesses, no. Other stories, just the report I read on this site near the same area, Pearson, GA. Sounds. Time and conditions. Approx 3 p.m. in afternoon. Fall, full sunshine, no clouds. Mid-60s. Environment, pine forest with mixed hardwoods. Follow-up investigation report by VFRO investigator Ken Johnson. As he stated in his narrative, this witness saw an animal that he was unable to classify as a normal animal found in South Georgia, even with a great deal of experience as an outdoorsman and deer hunter. As I interviewed him by phone, he described what he saw very credibly, and said that he immediately thought it was a Sasquatch, but was baffled by the fact that the animal he witnessed was running on all fours, something he didn't attribute to a Sasquatch, leaving him in doubt as to what he really did see that day. The animal he saw was not huge, around 130 pounds, with 2 to 3 inch long hair, and tall, skinny legs that were close together as it loped across the dirt road, with its back changing angle with the motion as it ran. The witness said he could see a roundish, oval, or oblong head, but only the top area, and that there was a definite lack of ears visible on the head. Having seen bears, the witness said that they always had ears on the tail, this animal did not. After seeing the Jacobs photos since his sighting, the witness believes that they closely describe what he saw. About BFRO investigator Ken Johnson. Ken Johnson works as production team leader at a manufacturing facility near Cairo, GA, where he has spent much time camping and hunting in the woods of southwest Georgia. Ken has a BS in criminal justice from Georgia Southern University and has been interested in Bigfoot since an early age. Ken has participated in the following BFRO expeditions, North Florida 2008, Central Florida 2009, Central Georgia 2009, co-organizer of North Florida 2011, attended North Florida 2012 and North Florida 2014, plus numerous private BFRO expeditions and outings. Ken has also been trained as a visual tracker level 1.